We are so grateful that you are with us today on the first Sunday of 2021. Wherever you are today, know that we are together as a community, a global community. Love encircles the world. Prayer encircles the world. So we thank you for, enjo for joining us today in this encircling worship service. If this is your first time to worship with us, my name is Dwayne, the senior pastor. I'd love to hear from you. My email is revdwayne at mccdc.com. Our worship is about participation. Our theme for this first Sunday of the year is manifestation for the new year. So we have a question that we would like for you to linger with throughout our worship today. And the question is this, what do you intend to do to experience the manifestation of Christ in your life this week and moving forward through the year. Later in the service, we will be celebrating Holy Communion. Uh, you're invited to use whatever you have available today, and you are welcome. Even if it's your first time worshiping with us, you do not need to be a member to worship at MCC uh, DC and receive communion. Uh, use whatever you have available for the elements for communion. We also, on this Epiphany Sunday, invite you to light a candle as a symbol of manifestation. And now an opening invitation from Wisdom herself. As we start the new year, we pray for ways to be present in our minds, bodies, and spirits. We can look hopefully to the future. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word is God. There is power in the Word and in our words. Words have the power to create, and words destroy. We choose to use our words to create. All creation began with the dream of God the will and intention for life to exist in the void, the breath of life in the spirit of wisdom. Our actions are born out of a dream and vision for a future in communion with the God of our understanding and with each other. We will find in the future, as we do today, the companion of Sophia Wisdom, the poetry of Sirach, chapter 24, tells us of wisdom's journey. Wisdom tells of her glory in the midst of her people. In the assembly of the Most High, she opens her mouth. And in the presence of the host, she tells of her glory. I came forth from the mouth of the Most High and covered the earth like a mist. I dwelt in the highest heavens, and my throne was in a pillar of cloud. Alone I compassed the vault of heaven and traversed the depths of the abyss. Over waves of the sea, over all the earth, and over every people and nation, I have held sway. Among all these, I sought a resting place in whose territory should I abide? Then the creator of all things gave wisdom a command, and the Holy One chose the place for wisdom to dwell. Before the ages, in the beginning, the Divine One created me, and for all the ages I shall not cease to be. In the holy tent I ministered before the Creator, and so I was established in Zion. Thus, in the beloved city of hearts, my God gave me a resting place and a domain. I, wisdom, took root in an honored people. In the portion of the Lord, the Lord's heritage, God knows and loves the real you. We are each forgiven and empowered by the Lord our God to rise up this day and do our best Help us to generate more life-giving energy in this world, O oh God. Draw us into your story of hope, O oh God. 
Give us wisdom and the courage to keep things real in our lives, O oh God. Amen and amen. <laughs>